Hey everyone, it's great to see you all again. In my journey to improve my post processing skills, I've come to really appreciate a certain technique that I feel like the importance of is sometimes forgotten. In addition to that, I feel like there are instances that photographers don't even realize or know how simple and customizable this editing tool is. In this video, I'll be talking about vignettes and show you just how important and powerful vignetting is when you know how to use it. So what is a vignette? At its core, a vignette is when you darken down the edges of your image to bring more attention to the center. For example, this is an image of me over Lake Crescent in Olympic National Park. And as you can see, I am the center of attention here, although there are some highlights that are blown out up here. And these shadows are also a little bit bright. This is just a simple edit I put on. I put on some basic edits here. And really, I thought this was a great image to show the power of vignetting. So the first option we're going to have is to use the Lightroom post crop vignetting tool. But as you'll notice, there are definitely some downsides to that. So if we go down to the effects panel in Lightroom Classic and we go to post crop vignetting, if we bring it all the way up, as you'll see, we are going to clip all of the highlights and it's going to add a white here. I'll turn that off. It's going to add a white ring around the image basically lightening the edges but if we bring it all the way down it's going to darken down all the edges of the photo so if we start at zero here and the first thing we can try to do is just bring this down just a little bit maybe down to negative 20. as you can see it's going to be darkening down the edges of the entire image very evenly I, I do stand out a lot more, but it darkens down everything evenly. This is pretty much the only um, customization that you have other than the roundness and the feather, which, which you could play around with. But it really is the most convenient and easiest way to vignette. However, it doesn't give you much customization at all. So that's where our next technique comes in. So let's turn that down to zero and go over to the mask section. And as you can see, I've added a couple masks to the image, but we're going to add a radial gradient. We're gonna make a, make a big radial gradient in the middle, and then we're gonna invert that radial gradient. And what that is gonna do, it's basically going to affect everything outside of the radial gradient instead of everything inside the radial gradient. So basically now, we can customize the shape and the size of our inverted radial gradient. So we just want the edges of the photo here to be affected. Just bring it in a little bit, and then we can bring the exposure down and it basically does the same effect. Although now, the biggest customization that, that it does is that we can move it around. So if we move it down a little bit, if we want to affect the sky a little bit more, we can also affect the, the feather, which we could before, but again, just a bit more customization. We can move it around, I could put it just on me. I could put it lower if I want to do affect the skies a little bit more, as you can see. And it just gives that extra layer of customization. Um, when you bring down the exposure. Obviously you wouldn't want to do this, but say you wanted to have that corner of the sky, the subject of the photo. Now everything else is darkened. Maybe you want this corner. And as you can see, as I move it around, it's really just a simple way to be able to really customize your vignettes. And the last way we can really bring some personalized touch to this is that we can use the other sliders other than just the exposure slider. So maybe this is a little bit too dark down here. I want to bring up some of the shadows. I want to affect the sky a little bit more. So let's move it down just a little bit and then bring down some of those highlights. Bring down some highlights there. And we're just bringing out some more of that sky. As you can see there, maybe we wanted to add a little bit of contrast. Bring the highlights up a little bit maybe bring up the blacks a little bit and go through all these settings and just play with the sliders that you want to affect for example we can bring up the temperature a little bit so we wanted a little bit of temperature in the shadows a little bit of warm or a little bit cool it's just a really easy and powerful way to bring attention to the middle of your photo so you can move this all around again play with the sliders for me i really wanted the sky to be darkened down a little bit and I wanted me to really pop in the middle of this photo. But I also didn't want the shadows around the edges to be super, super dark. So that's why I bring up the shadows, but you can bring down the exposure and it really just gives you that extra layer of depth and customization to your photo. 
So I hope you learned something from this video. I know I'm going to start to use this trick a lot more in my photos, and I hope you do as well. As always, we're trying to improve our ways of editing our photos and also taking our photos. And this just gives you that extra technique to play around with and use with your photos. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter where I'll be posting updates weekly. I also have print sales on my website and also like and follow my Facebook page where I'll be posting daily updates. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. And show you just how important and powerful vignetting... Mm.